Hello engineers, welcome to another part of how to build and design a base with full setup. Here I am in the almost finished assembler room. I already made the light setup and put here some more decoration. Also here are now working vents for this room. They are also set it in one group. So I could turn them off. The airlock that okay. Oh yeah. Also there I built it here a little side airlock to get instantly to the outside without using the massive <clears throat> hunger airlock and here is also here vents oh. what I also here got wa where is um, I added here some, some yeah these basic assemblers because I think they are very, uh, very decorative sides and they could be useful for and you need to make uh, fast more steel plates or small tubes they are already good enough for that and here are all the lights and I use these um, neon tubes to, ma to make them like that they look like your connection between these plates so and now we can go outside Work to the airlock. Sensor controlled. We can go almost without any kind of waiting time. Get outside and inside. And here I made a little side ramp for unloading. Here are two collectors which are going to the yeah these uh, huge, huge container cargo containers I added because in the last episode I only got, got the three small containers they are definitely not enough and now the script and the uh, IQ script can without any issues uh, work because there is or now is uh, enough cargo space there no. for example I put here mm -hmm. iron not one million hundred thousand spawn object Maybe you should load up, unload this here. And scoring could be. <coughs> it's gonna be instantly grabbed up and put it to the refineries. So, yeah, there's some small little light. And with unfin unfinished uh, neon tubes, just like uh, you know, looking pretty well. This part here is the exterior vent for this small airlock here. And on the ground side here, this is the buffer tank for the small airlock only one tank is enough for uh, for a small airlock like that and um, this is not connected to any other conveyor system it's just the tank the airlock went and the exterior went here nothing else 
if the tank is uh, completely empty the script will fill this tank with the interior wand this is the sensor for the door on the upside and here I'll place this uh, control light good now here we got the because I use some uh, intensive colors here and you can here see the lights from the exterior yeah and on this side okay there was not not enough space uh, I planned to make uh, these one red light here nearby to get here this window uh, with a little red glowing but uh, that block is a bit too far away <coughs> Well, and also, if you send a connector to the connectors to the cargo containers, and here we got. Well, let me take it out. So we have four ingots. How much fill do you get? Yeah, they are all ingots. And the yeah, two, four, two, four components. The one is empty. I can access them. Right yeah. So the other one is already filled with 500, 100. It's the uh, the quarter I wanted to. I said it in the last episode. Was exactly printed. Was oh, one too much? Hmm. Sounds one, yeah. There will be. There are some. Eh. If you more than I said it, because uh, about uh, over my in, uh, suit inventory territory, I've already got it. Some plates. So. And I set a script not to disassemble any type uh, of block. Good. Now we got here this part. So I will let this door now uh, at the moment closed because the interior went for the small airlock is in this room and when it's depressurized uh, the script recognizes that and tells me there's a major issue. Here is a small cargo container where I, all of my ammo is. I did not set any quotas for ammo at the moment, so there are only these. Uh, <coughs> only the one or ten. So here we got. Uh, Supplies, weapons, and here are tier two welder. Also, we can go now. Set the air to close. Because here are already all rooms are sealed. Hmm? This is finished. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. Also, it costs you. I don't. I just was wondering the because it take a little bit longer than normal, but that was uh, this door was open. Yeah. The next part. Um, next step is here. Light setup for this room, and also um went setup. Yeah, we can go here upside. Ah. The end one red light. Okay, look at the window. Go to the upper side. 
is also a went but this this one has no setup this will be this was for testing I can go here and here on this screen we can see all my quotas are green so I got all already all stuff I wanted and this is here over the issue um, the issue LCD here it shows yeah, its own ship um, mm -hmm. but this is not a problem because I got no zone ships at the moment here yeah well and also this script wants an unused cargo mm -hmm. good so I will make a little cutscene and put here some lights and some vents So now we got here lights and I placed here for this room two vents and we will need to take all these lights which I set it. This one? No. What's this called my lights and and set them into a group now we can hide them same with the whence refineries we got here this went here Is I think also should be that one here twenty five RX that were that were um th that one went will be removed later because this uh, was for testing. Good. Now we get the light group and the vent group. I set it the sides where uh, the side parts here with a warm white, and this other, this light here, and the spots with a, a white and green touch. And they are these spots are set to level um, twenty meters, so that's not a good, so the spots will not shine through the ground into the voxels. Also, here's some lights to light up here this gate, and also with the door to the stair floor. So now we got here this button panel, and I can and I put it <coughs> take my light group on off and the events on off. Yeah, works so out. Should what be? Gonna set this uh, lights off. 
font size 4 and center. <coughs> the same with the other button panel. Once on, off, size 4 and put them into center. Yes, now we got here already the refinery room finished. Roll it back on. So now we can drive you back in. And this robot got no back camera. So it's a little bit tricky to put him in parking position. That works well. I can go here right through. And go here up. I filled these uh, little uh, holes here with beam blocks. I'm also on the edges there, a beam block. Yes, now I got a real go through here. On this room. Going to the upper side. Hmm. Yes, now we here got can uh, walk everywhere around, and everything is nicely de detailed. In every way is something interesting to check out. Yeah. Next step will be this uh, stairway room here. I need also a light setup and one setup. Good. Everything is sealed. It's going it way back. Way step forward. Okay, this uh, will be all for this episode. The next episode, I will finish some the part with the stairway, and we will start with uh, with another script where I can do, where, where will I show you some more stuff. Okay, that's all. See you soon.